Hello and welcome. My name is Amul and you are watching Ease Coding. In this video, I'm going to show you how to disable caching in Drupal 9 and enable debug mode. So let's get started. This is my Drupal 9 installed on uh, Debian based distro, Linux distro called Linux Mint. But this it should work on any system you have and you also have this Drupal installed the only requirement is you also need to have composer installed in order to disable caching quickly and enable the debug mode in Drupal in general so go ahead and launch your command prompt or terminal whatever you have and then navigate to the directory where you have Drupal installed so mine is under var www html d9 this is where my Drupal is you can see this is completely fresh in Drupal 9 installation and since you already have Composer installed. If you haven't, go ahead and install Composer first. Then you will be able to quickly disable caching and enable debug mode as well for development purpose. All right. So, so to do so, you first need to go ahead and install this Drupal console, which you can install by just typing sudo composer require Drupal console I already have installed it but this is how you need to add it to your system basically Drupal enter to go with the yes and you can see everything seems to be okay up to date so once you have this Drupal in console installed it's going to be available under vendor bin and oops under bin you have this Drupal thing this is the Drupal console okay it's not installed globally it's installed on your system under vendor bin directory so it's very simple once you have installed it you can go ahead and run it okay so i'll get into my Drupal's root directory once again so var d9 and from here what you have to do you simply have to type vendor and bin oops, bin and then Drupal. remember the Drupal console also can be installed globally on your system but I don't do it and when you're running on Linux or Unix like operating systems you have to run it with sudo okay to make all the changes and then you'll simply say site mode dev that's all you have to do and you will see the magic it will disable all the caching and also enable the twig debug mode so I just entered my password because I'm running this sudo on my system and it's going to rebuild the cache as well you can see this is the magic of this thing so cache false false everything is false now uh, true so SQL query performance statistics is going to be true system logging is going to be shown and uh, debugging for your system um, as well so HTTP response debug cacheability header true auto reload is going to be true config cache is false and debug is true it shouldn't take long to rebuild your system rebuild the, the cache 
basically so this is the magic of this uh, Drupal console it's a highly recommended tool to have if you're developing or doing anything with Drupal so now you can see everything is done okay done clean the caches if I go ahead and refresh it okay it's taking a bit longer on my system what I'm trying to show here you would see something here so certainly something will change the debug mode will appear as soon as it loads, reloads the page so I'm just going to refresh it again okay you can see this debug mode is enabled now and if I quickly go ahead and add some uh, the title page if I just go ahead and add some color it's a red okay so so I'll, I'll add it to any CSS file let me see what I have here so if I get in here I'm using I'm using this plugin uh, sorry theme which is Bartek, I guess. Bartek. Let me see. So, uh, it's a core theme, so I, I'm not going to add anything to it. But but it's working perfectly fine. If you're using any custom theme, you can definitely go ahead and try. But what I will do, what I want to basically demonstrate here, is this that I won't need to refresh it again and again and clear the cache so to demonstrate I'm going to use a different Drupal instance installation which is using a custom theme and I will quickly be able to basically add my CSS to it so if I go ahead and just open it you can see this has also enabled debug and disabled caching so let's say I want to add some some additional color to this. I don't find anything here. Okay, so this one, this one be there. Fill label tag. Uh, where is this coming from? Okay, so what I'm going to do I'm going to decrease the font size. Yeah, small is okay. Just want to display and make sure it's working. Uh, yeah. So I'll just copy this. Hopefully, you can see it. And now I'm, I'm going to add it to my theme, uh, theme CSS. So this is where it is Drupal. And then I got themes initial. And in here I've got few files and folders under CSS. Uh, basically I can use uh, Z to open CSS and then style. So it's quickly going to launch this text editor which I get uh, as kind of pre-installed text editor with Linux Mint. And what I will do is somewhere I'll just add this code from here, save it. And if I refresh it there should be no change
yeah you can see so uh, oh. let me go back to so you can see I did not have to clear the cache I just refreshed the page with control F5 hard refresh uh, and it worked perfectly fine all right guys so I think this is going to be helpful for a lot of Drupal uh, developers site builders and this is pretty awesome the only thing you need is basically composer installed on your system and you also need to know where is your Drupal installed that's all thank you so much for watching have a good day bye for now